once once I knew and was interested in working with um, microscopy and the DNA stuff, by that time I had already been to Telluride Mushroom Festival and met Alan Rockefeller and other actual scientists um, and had the opportunity to visit Trad's laboratory. Um, so I'd seen labs, I'd seen operational labs, um, and I had had hands-on experience doing the protocol. So whenever I went to go do the DNA stuff, I was confident in myself and my ability to read something or, or visualize something and do it. Um, so it took me only two months to teach myself how to do the uh, protocols necessary for extracting DNA, amplifying DNA, and sending off for sequencing. Um, and then, you know, I just started biting the bullet and paying for little classes and stuff like that to train myself on things that were beyond me. Um, so I did take a training on mushroom cultivation with uh, Fungi for the People in Oregon in 2015. Um, I did a week-long cultivation and a week-long micro-remediation class. Um, and I took a one-day uh, class at the New York Genomic Center for, um, mo uh, for how to do nanopore sequencing. So I know I have now um, a portable DNA sequencer um, that I can take anywhere in the world and be off-grid and do DNA sequencing real-time, which is very beneficial for like extinct uh, species that are at, at risk of extinction. Uh, which I'm going to do some of that work down in uh, southern Brazil and uh, in Uruguay. 